In this video, I'm going to talk about Twitch channel points. What are they and how can you find cool new things to use the channel points for? My name is Tree and I make stream support videos. So it's smarter, not harder. Before we begin, I stream every Tuesday, Friday, Sunday, 8pm Central European time on twitch.tv slash tree. For the last two weeks of May, we will be doing a charity event for St. Jude Play Life. Then I'm gonna do super crazy things like taking a lemon shot, put googly eyes on my face. Maybe Truigi will come back for those who remember it. But besides that, I'm also giving away a stream coach session. So if you want to win private one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, make sure to check out our channel from 19th to 31 of May. So what are channel points? Channel points are points on Twitch that people can earn by watching your stream, by following and going with you on raids. You can find these underneath the chat if streamers have enabled them. On your own channel you will always have an infinitive amount of channel points so you can try out anything you set up. So how can people earn these points? You can earn them by watching for 5 minutes, this will give you 10 points. Claim your special bonuses by 50 points. This is actually this little chest coming up next to the channel points right here. If you click on that, you will collect extra points. This will basically tell Twitch that you're still actively watching to the streamer. You get 250 points by participating in raids. Following gives you another 300 points. Monthly first chair gives you 350 points. This means that if you are the chair boss right here, you will gain extra points. Then you get another 500 points for being the monthly first gift sub person. <laughs> you can find that pack in the top here as well. So if you're on this number one spot, you will be the one getting 500 points extra. And then you can grow a watch streak and you get up to 450 points. I'm not sure how that works, but apparently if you watch longer and more consistently, you will get more points. And underneath it says here, subscribers get two times multiplier. So for watching for 5 minutes and claim special bonuses, these two things will actually be 10 and 100 points for subscribers. This is an extra incentive for people to subscribe to your channel. So what kind of things can people spend their channel points on? Honestly, this is all up to you. You can make it as crazy as you want. You can send people paintings for channel points, but you can also just do a dap. <laughs> so if you look at my channel, what I have done is highlight my message. Unlock a random emote, you got choose an emote to unlock, posture check, if people redeem this one I need to sit straight, modify a single emote, we've got make me dap, we've got emote only chat, we've got suggest a pull, tree draws, here I will make the most beautiful, beautiful art in paint, run an add on stream, tree does a dance, and a vault review. So these are the things I thought were cool to do on my channel. So let's start out with how do you actually activate this? What you do is go to the top right, click on your avatar and click on creator dashboard. This will bring you to the creator dashboard. Then on the left here, you can click these three dots and go to community and then channel points. This is where you can manage all your channel points. If you do have channel points already, you can actually click on the channel points and then click on the three dots at the top and then manage rewards to actually get at the same part of your dashboard. The top one says enable channel points. If you put that to the right, it will give a tick and it will be on. And then there you can customize them. You can give them your own name. I didn't do that for my channel because I already have sweaters to be my stream elements currently. I found that kind of confusing. So I just kept them to be channel points because then it's clear that that's the Twitch version. But on my other account, I actually called them hats in Dutch, obviously, because that's my Dutch account. And I gave them this nice head icon next to it. So this is how you can customize it. Click on here. Then you have to upload an image that is 28 by 28, but the same image needs to also be 56 by 56. And you need to have a version that is 112 by 112 pixels. These need to be the same images. It's just a size that matters for Twitch because then they can use it in different formats. So for example, sometimes they need it small and then they use the 28 by 28 pixel image. And sometimes they want it mediocre and then they will be using the 56 by 56 one. At the top here, we can change the channel points name. We can change it to whatever we want, of course, within the TOS. And underneath here, you will see like a preview of how it's gonna look like. Let's go back. And then we see manage rewards to be the last option here. Click on that. And because I actually set a lot of these things already, we see a lot of options here. These will not be here. These bottom ones, the default rewards, will be here. And you can enable or disable them by just ticking or unticking these buttons after it. 
If you want to edit them because you think they need to be more expensive or cheaper or you don't like the image or the text with it, just click on edit and you can edit this all. The cost, you can turn on smart cost, which means that if people buy it a lot, it will be more expensive. And you can add an image here as well and change the background color. The cool thing with these default rewards is actually that they integrate with Twitch. So for example, they can unlock an emote from your subscriber emails, even if they're not a subscriber. They can highlight a message in chat, which is also integrated in Twitch. So the default ones are all integrated in Twitch, where the custom ones aren't. So this one is called emote only chat, but if somebody redeems that, I actually manually have to set it on emote only chat. If you got one of these stream decks though, it's actually pretty simple because you can just make a button that makes it emote only mode. So how do we get cool ideas for rewards? Well, first of all, feel free to copy any I have. Seriously, I don't mind. But we can also visit the collection, which is a button right here. And this will give you ideas that Twitch made up. You can see more heroes requests, choose which hero I play with, let's duel, 1v1 me. We got the dap here that I used, give a treat to my pets, we got suggest a poll, die the raid. There's quite some cool ideas in here. If you want to make a new reward that you just came up with and you think is really cool but it's not in there, just click on the add new custom reward button and you can set a name, a description. If you want your viewer to enter text, for example if it's a question, you can turn this on and then they get this text message underneath here. You can set the cost in channel points that it will cost them. And then you can set the image here and the background color. There's also the reward quest queue. If you don't want this to be in the reward quest queue, tick this on and it will not be in there. So how does this queue work? For me, I have something called vote reviews. If I want to make sure that I don't miss out on anybody who claimed that, I can actually look into my queue. Here at the top right, request queue. So here we can see what people requested. I actually didn't remove anything out of here so you guys can see how it works. So Deathrunit here has requested make me dab. I did that on stream so we can mark it as complete. So did Westwood. If we deny it, if we reject, they will get their channel points back. We can also report them if they had a weird message or something, but let's mark it as complete. And if we mark these as complete, they don't get their channel points back because they spent it on it and you did the thing that you said you would. Make tackle for me, we did that. If you want to see the tackle, it's actually in my art channel in the Discord. Good luck, it's it's beautiful. And a poster check, we did that too. And if you accepted everything or rejected some, the queue will be empty. And if somebody requests something new, it will just pop up in here. And it's super easy to keep track of which things you have and have not done. And if you don't want certain things to be in here, just go edit and then tick this on and then save. And now it won't get in there. There's another thing that might be useful. If you get spammed with one thing a lot, you can raise the price to make sure that they don't spam it as much. But if you don't want to do it, you can also set a maximum limit of uses. So for example, I cannot do 20 VOD reviews per stream. I'm going to get crazy. So I can set it to max three. What we do is edit, scroll all the way down, limit redemptions per stream to three and then save. Now only three people can redeem this reward per stream. Sadly enough, this is not available to moderators. Moderators can change any of the channel points. If you want to know what moderators can actually change and how to make somebody an editor, what an editor even is on Twitch, I got a video about that. I'll see you right there.